Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of these bugs, Indian meal moths from inside your kitchen and your pantries, just like a pro. Now, just like with any other DIY pest control job, the first step to controlling the pest is proper identification. Now, the Indian meal moth is pretty easy to identify because it comes from places that store meal or grain, such as your kitchen or your pantry, and it's one of the few pantry pests that takes flight. In fact, oftentimes, the Indian meal moth is confused with termites by laymen who don't know the difference between flying ants, small moths, and termites because it flutters in a similar fashion. However, unlike termites, when it lands, it has a tendency to stay put. So if you see these kind of bugs fluttering and congregating around your pantry, then there's a pretty good chance that they're an Indian meal moth. If you can catch one in a bag, you'll be able to tell whether it's a winged ant, a termite, or an Indian meal moth. Now, if it's an Indian meal moth, I'm oftentimes asked, well, what do I spray? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but when it comes to Indian meal moths, spray isn't the first step. The first step is finding what food has been contaminated. And this is going to be a little bit of a rude awakening. These, here we go, look at this, boom, they penetrated through. Oh. Usually it's some cereal box, it's some bag of flour, oh, yeah. it's some bit of dried lasagna or noodles that you haven't noticed. Checking out all the goods. And the trick to finding this infected bag of flour or this infected bag of noodles or pasta or whatever, is by actually taking that bag and flipping it upside down and then looking to see in that bag if there's any larvae or any kind of cocoons that the Indian meal moths have made. And once you've identified that food, the only real choice is to throw it out. Then if you want an organic solution, you can actually mix up some kind of essential oils or use an organic pesticide like Ecovia. If you want something that works a little bit faster, however, you can use one of my favorite aerosol sprays, CB80. You can get a bottle of CB40 or CB80 or any synthetic aerosol pyrethroid that's labeled to treat Indian meal moths and spray it in all of the cracks and the crevices of that pantry. Make sure that you remove any food items, okay, that are open or don't have their factory seal, just to make the whole area more accessible. And as always, make sure you wear the proper protective equipment. Most municipalities, though residential pesticides, especially those that are going to be used for Indian meal moths, have extremely low toxicity ratings. Many of them oftentimes less than table salt if table salt were to have a toxicity rating. Though they're very benign and eco and pet friendly, most municipalities have some kind of law that you wear some kind of protective equipment if you're spraying inside. Either way, if you see Indian meal moths and you want to get rid of them, Try and follow these steps. If it's too much for you, give us a call. See you guys in the next video.